Good morning, trade as well. We're heading into a, a bumper week of T1 economic releases with uh, eagerly awaited rate decisions out of the US, uh, Europe, uh, Japan, also some very important inflation data out of Australia, US and the Eurozone. Uh, with the US, the FOMC is looking likely to hike 25 basis points. And US inflation has moved lower lately, but um, the tight jobs and business activity remaining very resilient sees the market pricing and over a 99% chance of a hike there. Uh, what will be key here is the signalling, um, where the most of the market reaction will be. Um, the accompanying statement and the presser will be likely to acknowledge is signs, encouraging signs in inflation, but uh, also in a determination not to take any chances that could allow this to reignite, I would think. The chart to watch here, the dollar index, um, it retook the major 101 level last week, which has been a, a big support and resistance in the past. That'll be the level to watch, hold above this price uh, could indicate a, a further bull run on the US dollar. Um, if it gets under there and starts acting as resistance, another push down to those lows we saw recently is definitely a possibility. Out of the Eurozone, ECB is looking like the Fed pretty much fully priced in to hike 25 basis points. But future rate hikes do uh, hang in the balance there. So the signalling also will be the most important part of that decision. Um, another hike in September is being teased by ECB members. Uh, it is hanging in the balance. And there are some flash PMI manufacturing and services figures out of France and Germany on Monday, uh, which could go some way into to how that messaging reads. So the chart to watch on that one's Euro US. And we had a, a big run up on the back of some US dollar weakness recently. This is pulled back. Uh, got, found some resistance to that 112 level uh, at a majorly overbought uh, on any kind of oscillator you look at. Now, that's, it's found resistance there, it's pulled back slightly. So that, I think that'll be the, the level to watch, that 112, whether it can retake that, reestablish itself as, as a support level. Um, if it continues to act as resistance, uh, another leg down, possibly to that 11010. Uh, also, that which is also the 61.8 Fib retracement from that latest move up uh, will be certainly in play. In Australia, the market's split uh, on the next move from the RBA. So the highlight for Aussie traders this week will be the Q2 CPI reading on Wednesday. Uh, that'll go a long way to determine whether the RBA hikes, I think, in their August meeting. So futures markets are evenly split with around 50-50 chance of a, of a hike, 25 basis points or a hold. Uh, so some big moves in the Aussie dollar pretty likely around this announcement. Um, chart to watch on this one, Aussie, Aussie US. So it drifted lower last week. Yeah, that was mostly on dollar strength, though um, we did have some stronger than expected employment data of Australia, which uh, arrested the decline somewhat and saw a brief spike um, until it started dropping off again. And we did find a brief support at the 50% FIB level there uh, at around 67.50. The key level to watch, I think, is that 67.50 figure, which um, has been a pretty important figure in the recent past. So a break above and a hold of that could see it testing that major resistance at 69. Uh, if we just keep drifting lower, the real next obvious big support is around 66. In Japan, the BOJ meetings, it's a close call. There is a possibility of tweaks to their yield curve control. Uh, and recent moves in the yen and government bonds suggest that um, market participants are really positioning themselves already for, for that tweak of their monetary policy on Friday. Um, re a readjustment of their target band for, on the JGBs will definitely, it's a definite possibility. We'll, we'll have some major, major ramifications for the yen. So the, the dollar yen bounced last week, a, a big drop it had a couple of weeks before from that 145, you know, psychological intervention level. Um, and then we got down to extreme oversold levels last week and, and, and then it's pushed higher again to get above that around 141 level. Um, if there's no change from the bodge on Friday, then one the retest of 145 is certainly on the cards. Uh, and if they do make a, a change, depending on how big it is, um, certainly some more weakness in the dollar yen could, could come about and be testing those lows at 137 again.